right, let's jump to Aquarius. I've been jumping around. Okay. All right, so let's see here. We're doing pop-up readings. Okay, doing Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, pop-up reading. All right, Aquarius pop-up reading. Okay. I feel like you've been dealing with this one. Okay, that's how I'm picking it up. Okay. All right. The money's coming in. What's with this cat? Okay, that's Sagittarius. Okay, for some of you, you might be uh, taking a pause from... You were taking a pause with a Sagittarian, but now there's going to be movement. That's for someone. All right, now what's on this side? Okay, so we're in winter period. Scorpio energy. Okay, so this one has a Scorpio rising... Okay, and what about it? Okay, so it's like bringing in a new world. Oh, so that's like major, it's like major crystallization. So that's, it's changing the whole dynamic in your universe. Okay, Woo. all right. This is that Neptune energy, so it's hidden. You may not see it, so keep the faith from hope, faith to knowing, right? So you keep the faith. That's the message there. Keep the faith. And dreaming up. Keep dreaming this new, new reality. Keep dreaming. Dr uh, that came up in another ring. Dream big and then dream bigger, Okay. Okay, so that's the dream work. Okay. It's like bringing in, stepping into a new reality through positive dream work about how your world, how your universe looks in 2023. Okay, so there may be a period here, the winter period, where you're just kind of pausing to reassess some of this challenging energy let's get the moon cards all right trust the universe okay a lot of people are getting that okay be proud of yourself proud of your accomplishments in 2022 and that appreciation can open the doors for new stuff coming in Okay, so this could be like butting head energy. So that could have been a lot of, um, let's keep going, release control. Okay, so I feel like that's the energy you were dealing with, people with control issues. If that's you, then you want to harmonize that and balance it. How can I... Um, It's like, uh, how can I allow the subtle energy to arise within me so that uh, I can flow with this divine energy to bring in my manifestations? Sometimes control is just thinking that your dreams aren't going to come in. So if you can like flow with this inner world that is you, I feel like through dream work, and action steps, it will manifest. Yeah, and I feel like you're dealing with, you were dealing with someone that had this kind of scorpionic energy. Okay, now, 
they were not uh, moving with their natural state of being. When I say state of being is like that pure energy. Now, I feel like there's improvement on that side because this is reversed. So there is improvement, but they're, they're, it's learning. And it seems like it's kind of moving slow because there's a lot of uh, density. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Okay, now, so breathe through. If you find yourself holding your breath, breathe deeper through your gut not your chest, right? And I feel like that can bring relief in any kind of tense moment. The other thing is, if you have Scorpio rising or moon, you want to take a look at that because that could be what is uh, cause this kind of um, entanglement here, okay? So if you have that in your rising or moon, you want to see how you can... Bring the positive aspects of Scorpio into your energy. Okay, so that's all about harmonizing your family and harmonizing also ideas around money. Okay. Reveal what needs to be seen. Okay. Scorpio. So this is the Scorpio moon coming up and we're in Scorpio moon right now. So that could be like not, you know, it's like going to a, a, a group and then talking about the weather is not going to be satisfying. It's like that. You want something soul deep. Okay. And that could be in all personal relationships, work, you know, you want something more. But you're bringing, you're shining the light on what needs to be seen. And Scorpio had the Hermit card with the Lantern, I think. I think that was Scorpio. Okay, so there's that. Finding balance. See, that's Libra energy. Could have been dealing, this Queen of Wands here could have been the Libra. Also, I want to say there is a Libra energy that is purely positive that has been helping you. And you want to be, uh, show gratitude for that and appreciation because that was like magic that came out of nowhere. All right. So if you don't relay that to this person, at least relay it to spirit. I feel like that's where there could be uh, healing here too. Echinacea. Okay, so that came up in another card. Maybe Echinacea T. Okay, for someone. Okay. Talk less, feel more. Okay, so, and then when you do communicate, I feel like you want to bring that positive light to it. Oh my gosh, I just saw a hummingbird. Okay, so it's like, whatever felt slow is going to move fast. Okay. Step into your power. Okay, so I feel like it's all about that. And, you know... Power isn't like uh, being a puppet master. It's more like moving harmoniously with the collective that is supporting you. Okay, and I feel like that's where the success is coming in. Okay. Finding, shining the light on things that, uh, you know, if there is opposition energy here, they could be mirroring to you the things that are going on in your area, okay? So take a look at that too, right? Instead of uh, being in judgment, see if it's going on in you, you, your energy or in your area, okay? So that could be, uh, that could be like mirroring. All right, so let's see. Okay, so you could be uh, focused on something that has to do with discipline. Discipline, okay, so you might be in the military and you might be focused on something like that. Okay, and this is a Scorpio moon feeling like you need to go deeper. Okay, and then ignition. This is all about taking the action. Okay, all right.
Some of you might have a partner that's a water sign or earth sign. Okay, and I feel like they're transforming too. It could just be them, any sign, harnessing, being in their emotions and learning how to manage that. Okay, so here's crossing energy. So there may be contrast there, but I feel like you're going to rise. It's like walking on water energy. Okay. All right, so let me get something on that. Okay, so these are opportunities. Okay, so... This could be like the future stuff that's available to you and feeling like you can't go in that direction for one reason or another. This could be that masculine energy over here that's been problematic that... Um, it has you feeling like a stalemate energy. Now, on a simple level, this could be, uh, on a more simple level, playful level, uh, these cups are representing all the people that you love and finding the perfect gift during the holiday season has uh, had you in a, a maybe a quagmire. Okay. All right. Okay, so now for some of you, this could be focused on uh, fighting stuff. Let me get another card. Okay, so the suggestion is to walk away from any past battles in your mind, in your heart space, so that the ships can come in. Okay. I feel like you are the earth horse and there is going to be victory for you. You might even have a child in 2023. All right. So this could be, if you don't have a child, this could be wanting to bring abundance for the masses. Okay. And I leave you with that. Thank you.